Okay, this problem looks pretty intimidating, but I promise it's not that bad. We have two circles. They're overlapping like this. In between, we have these triangles. And they are shaded. The problem wants to know what is the area of the shaded region if each circle has a radius of r. And so I'll show you the trick to this problem. And it's an important trick. And the only reason I'm calling it a trick is because, well, once you see it, you realize it's sort of tricky. But it's really a mathematical principle. And first off, let's just take a normal circle here. When I say the radius is, in this case, r, you can say, OK, that's, that's not a problem. That's very straightforward. You can also say that, hey, look, the radius here has to be r. That means this point from here to here is also r. But remember, the radius doesn't just have to be from here to here. So it's a nice straight line, but it radius Radii, radii could be here to here as long as it goes from the center to the edge of the circle. Now, what does this actually have to do with this problem? Well, here's the center of the circle, and I know my drawing is horrible, but this point should be right there on the edge of the circle. So this point here is a radii, r. From here to here, that is from one center of the circle to the other, and please again bear with me, this is, this point here, p, is the circle. Sure, put over there, but it definitely looks like the center of the circle. But anyway, the key here is if this is r, that is if p, and we'll call this point q, if oq is r, and op, because it connects one center of the, the center of the circle here to this point at the center of the circle, this is also r, and qp here is also r, we are dealing with what? We are dealing with an equilateral triangle. And because these are equal, we are dealing with two equilateral triangles. A good formula to know, s squared root 3 over 4 is the area of an equilateral triangle. In this case, the side s is r. So we can just plug in r where we see s, and we get r squared root 3 over 4. Now there's two of these, that is two equilateral triangles, so just multiply this by 2. This cancels out, and we're left with 2 on the bottom here. Or, writing this out, we get r squared root 3 over 2. And notice that answer choice B has taken this and just put this to the left of r squared. So that gives us root 3 over 2 times r squared. And the answer is B.